Okay, so this is going to be uh, how to use this Excel tool that I just made to uh, create custom layouts for MapNuke. So uh, the way MapNuke works is uh, it makes maps in a grid formation. Um, and where the starts and where the thrones are um, tend to be in a kind of predetermined formation. Uh, based on map nuke and then it's going to randomize what type of provinces whether they're big large terrain type all that For you based on some parameters you can set in the program um, Unfortunately for some of the larger map sizes either they're not available like if you wanted to play a 40 player map You couldn't do it Because um, just th this template uh, Like what you would see here for start throne isn't built in for and you know all of the arbitrary large uh, map sizes Additionally, some of the larger size maps, which it is built in for, um, this layout is not uh, exactly efficient. Um, and so you may, like, for example, we were about to start a game with 18 players, and it gave us uh, a 400 uh, province map, which is like 22 provinces a player. So uh, I wanted to go and make a new layout, and it would probably only take me about twice as long to make a tool to do it as to do it myself. Um, so anyway, uh, I have made a tool, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So um, what you basically want to do, um, everything in green you can edit, things in red you don't want to, and then stuff in here we can edit. So uh, I've already got it set up for an 18-player one, but let's just say right now we wanted to make like a 10-player a one. Um, and 10 players is actually a little tricky because you have to figure out, is it going to be a 3x3 three three grid for the start locations and then one extra? Or are you going to do five by two, which is pretty horrible, because then like everybody's north and south neighbors, you know, the same. So, uh, what I think we'll do for a ten is we'll do. So it's really easy. You just delete, and then you just type capital S where you want to start location. Uh, we'll start here. Generally, you don't want to start it. I like to do it like this. So then, um, well, actually, let's delete this again. We'll do it right here. Um, and so there's going to be one gap here on the side. And you know, let me just move this out of the way. I've got these little tool tips here. We'll put a throne here in this corner. And so we're going to do province and then throne up in this direction. Um, and then generally you want to have three spaces between, at least, between uh, caps. So the start, blank, blank, start. And then we'll do throne, throne. And you, oh, that's tilting. I'll have to fix that so it doesn't. Anything that has a T in it, I don't want to have. Uh, I put like a little dot anyway. You'll, you won't have to worry about that. But um, okay, so three like this, um, and then we want to do. Uh, we can do three, and then two, and then three, and then two, and that might be the best. Um, now, what we might be no, that won't work. So what I think we'll do is we'll do just we'll just stagger these in between, which one, two. There's a chance there could be a fast connection if we do it like that. So we might actually need to move it down. This probably will still be a kind of, ten is one of the like least efficient layouts for doing a grid. If you get rid of the grid constraint, you can do it a lot, you know, cleaner. But anyway, MathNuke does have a grid constraint. So anyway, like this, and then we'll keep just doing thrones in the top left corner from uh, wherever we do a start position. And so now you can see all these things update. So we're at eight players, so we just need to add two more. So we're just gonna do it right here and right here. And here we go. So like that. Now you can see we're at 10 players. And now what I wanna do is I wanna have it so that um, we need to set the, the axes. So you can see um, the number of provinces in terms of the grid comes down and you can see it goes to 16 here but here it goes all the way up to 20 and we actually only want it to go to 12 so the size in the X we're gonna change from 20 to 12 like so um, and so now we can see some kind of stats we can see that we've got 10 players we've got 10 thrones and if you want to add more thrones in, you know you could um, if you don't add thrones in, the game will add thrones. If you put more thrones, then you have throne locations. Um, it will just add some wherever it feels like, which is a little risky because they can go in your cap circle and stuff. Okay, um, and then provinces. 
192 and then provinces player 19 which is not great because ideally you want to play with like 14 so this is one of the least efficient packing mechanisms uh, and there might be a better way like some of you mathematicians out there um, to like pack 10 I'm not sure what that would look like but this is just like a very simple straight mind or a very simple minded way to approach it um, but yeah I mean it you have the weird thing too if you're looking at like packing constraints is how the diagonals are handled because you're always going to have an up down left right connection in map nuke but whether the diagonals actually you'll have a connection through it is random so anyway sometimes you could be like you know if we moved this one up sometimes this one would connect here in two sometimes it would connect in three that's my understanding anyway so it's a bit weird to kind of optimize with that if if you don't want to have you know as a constraint uh if you if you don't want to have you know a two less than three provinces between capitals anyway so okay we've done this great now how do we actually do the code because there's this all this code you have to output so there's this intermediate data thing where it plugs all this stuff and does a bunch of math and then it generates this code over here so if you want to do a code what you want to do is you want to actually get this program um, and this is um, note pl notepad plus plus and um, the reason you want to use this rather than other tools is other tools are pretty funky about when you paste from Excel into them they don't like it and they give you all sorts of problems um, Notepad++ does not give a shit if you paste from Excel. So anyway, it's really good for that. It's really good in general. Like you can code and stuff in Notepad++. It's really nice. So all you do is you come over here and you copy this stuff in the first column. This is like the, <clears throat> basically the wrapper for the XML. So it's going to be the stuff at the front and the stuff at the end. So anyway, we paste that in here. And um, one thing I didn't mention that I probably should have is if you come back over here, whatever you want your custom layout to be you put it in here so uh, we'll just we'll call this 10 player I don't know if it works with spaces not too great that's what we'll call this right and so anyway let's delete this again you know all this stuff updates so then we come over here in the XML output we just copy this and we paste it in here uh, like so and then we come back over and then we copy this stuff which is the code generated to do uh, all the spawn locations so we copy that and we paste this in here right where these uh this parentheses stuff is and then we come back over here and that this was all the player starts and then we have to paste all the thrones which is this column So we copy that, and then we paste that over here in this text document, right beneath the player starts, and then we're done. And so then we save it, save as, um, and you need to navigate to wherever your folder is for MapNuke. Mine is in downloads, anyway. Uh, and here we'll call this 10player.xml, right? And you can see it changed the formatting because we've now called it an XML. Now what you'll do is you'll pull up MapNuke, which um, here we go. So you can see it's not here because we don't have 10 players, but here we'll do a 10 player map. And you can see it, it by default selects this even over the, uh, the default layout. Um, I think compact layout actually is a five by two, which sucks. I think I actually made that one. Uh, or at least came up with the idea of it, like, hey, we don't need to have a square. Uh, let's just do a long rectangle. And it actually sucks in multiplayer games. So anyway, we'll do this one, and then you just hit Generate Map. And you can see it works like a charm. That was, like, super quick. So anyway, and if you look at it, you can see it actually followed our layout. Like, at the top, we've got one, two, three nations. And then in the middle, we have two. Right? There's no more. Right, and then we come down and it's three again. One, two, three. Um, and so there we go. Three, two, three, two. It looks like it shifted it a tiny bit. Like these ones, I don't know how it draws it, but anyway, it picked a different starting point. But anyway, it did three, two, three, two. Uh, and we get, we get 10, so there we go. Uh, anyway, hope you found this useful in case you want to uh, do a custom layout for MapNuke. And take care.